And what happened to Univision's news crew is Venezuela isn't a random incident. Time and time again, we have witnessed how the Maduro regime has been cracking down on journalists, even on locals, and limiting internet access. Let's go to Alex Sarquinio. She's the president of the Society of Professional Journalists. Alex, thanks so much for joining us today on U News. Uh, good day. Thank you for having me. What's your reaction to the news of Univision's crude detention and confiscation of equipment last night? First of all, let me just say on behalf of the Society of Professional Journalists, we find it thoroughly unacceptable really for any political leader to detain journalists because they do not like a reporter's line of questioning. Uh, the situation has been particularly egregious in Venezuela for a number of years, however, um, because of the challenges to, to Maduro's regime. And uh, particularly recently, uh, now that there is uh, the declaration of an interim president. Um, nevertheless, his actions yesterday were particularly foolish because in detaining Jorge Ramos, he, he detained one of the better known journalists in Latin America. And um, that has really... Um, raised his media repression um, to really global recognition. Is there some sort of protection for journalists while they are in foreign countries covering some major events like what we are seeing now in Venezuela? Um, it is actually that the situation in Venezuela is really one of the worst in the world. Internally, um, for Venezuelan journalists, there is not much room for them to work. If they do not work for the government-controlled media, uh, they really do not have any freedom of the press. Uh, and this is not the first time, I should note, that foreign journalists have been turned away by Venezuela. Um, it happens to be one of the most high-profile journalists, which is... Um, which is very bad, but it is also bad just last month that they turned away a Danish uh, journalist. So um, this is a pattern of repression because of the challenges uh, to his regime. But are there any protections for journalists as they face these hardships? Yes. Um, well, obviously, there are organizations that um, specifically focus on this. Um, ours is one of the, the biggest and best known in the United States, but there's also a committee to protect journalists, reporters without borders that, that focus on this issue. Um, and uh, and perhaps their governments. In, in this case, um, uh, our government responded quite quickly uh, because obviously Univision is, is based there in Miami, where I should point out, by the way, by the way, much of the reporting of Venezuela does come out of Miami. So um, basically, it, it comes back to non-governmental organizations and um, and other governments putting pressure on that government to to release uh, reporters and return equipment. Um, I'm very concerned to hear that some uh, equipment. I heard on the lead-in that the cell phones have still been withheld um, and also tapes. That is um, thoroughly inappropriate for any government to do um, whatever its circumstances. That's right. Everything is still confiscated, still withheld. They're, ro they're basically robbed of their work. And what would you say that these actions of censorship say about Maduro's regime? People basically cannot hear the truth in that country. Right. Um, and there is actually quite a bit of repression of um, basic information, the Internet. That's also a real problem. I mean, I don't want to um, minimize the overall difficulties. There's there's a food crisis going on. But when you um, repress the freedom of information, um, it makes it extremely difficult for democracy to flourish. That is why we strong men like Maduro do it in the first place. Um, it is something that really only international pressure, which is really beginning to rise um, to a boiling point on Venezuela, can, can possibly turn around. And we will continue to monitor the situation there in Venezuela. Thank you so much, Alex Darquinio from the Society of Professional Journalists for speaking to us on this matter. Thank you for having me.